morning good morning everyone well no one's there yet there's not even a one person sitting there but i am early i am early i just said i couldn't wait because i didn't get to see you all guys last week and so i'm feeling like i miss you like a ton like a real bunch and matilda is you know wanting to spend time with her youtube family as well so we've just thought we'll get on and you know catch up a little bit so I'm still a little bit mm, throaty. I ended up having a chest infection. Mm, that wasn't fun at all. Oh, I wonder if everyone will be able to come to this today. Ah, yes, cool. Hi, Under the Sun. How are you going? And Elaine, hi. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so I ended up having a chest infection um, for the last three weeks, so... That's nearly gone now. It's just, you know, that lingering crap in the background that we all know of. I know. This little baby has been very sad because she's missed all of her family. So she's had a bit of a rough week. Hi, Deb. How are you? Congratulations on the sale of your baby. Uh, did the money go through all, all okay? Everything go okay there? And Elaine, she's sad because she had to pack up all of her babies because she's got some new carpet going in. That's always hard. Under the sunset, I'm good. How is Matilda doing and you, Annette? Yep, I'm doing much better. And Matilda's just, like I said, she's just a little bit emotional at the moment. I think she might be a little bit like me, a little bit emotional. But um, she's just missing everyone so terribly, aren't you? I know. <clears throat> so sorry, I'm going to be stopping and coughing still during the live stream. I hope I apologize about that. I really do. <laughs> Morning, Angela. Mwah. I hope you felt that. <laughs> Under the sunset, how is Will and Amani doing? Okay, Will's doing really good. So yesterday, as you obviously noticed, we were at the doctor's and Will had a swollen tongue. He actually burnt his tongue on a chicken nugget, of all things. Um, and he had to get some special cream, um, oral cream, to put on his tongue to help with the swelling and to bring all that burn back to normal. And some throat spray to sort of numb the area. So he was talking like this. It was really, really weird. And I was like, oh, my God. So um, I had a, a doctor's appointment yesterday book, so I just sort of dragged him along with me. So he's much better. Amani's doing good. As you know, he fell over and hit his lip, and it was nice and swollen, wasn't it? But it's gone down a lot now, and um, he's fallen over on it another two times yesterday. But no busting again, so that was really good. Um under the sunset, oh, hugs to Matilda and hi to Angela. Deb said, yes, I got my money yesterday afternoon. I will send her today. Congratulations. That is really, really great news. I'm so proud of you, Deb. Elaine says hi to Angela. Mama, hi, says hi, everybody. So glad to get here live. Yay. Oh, uh, my, you still have a cough. Yeah, I do. It's just, you know, lingering chest infection, stupid stuff. Um, Deb says hi to Angela. Under the sunset, ouch, hope Will feels better soon. Well, you know the weird thing? This weekend, or well, the past weekend, all three of my kids burnt their tongue on different items, uh, I have to say. But Tiana and Will both had swollen tongues um, from the burn. So they must have, well, Tiana was making some um, jam drops and she burnt her tongue on the hot, hot, hot jam. Um, but her tongue went down quicker than Will's. Will's actually needed attention. But it was just so weird. Really weird kids I have. <laughs> uh, Mamma says, poor Will, I've done that before. Yes, I know. And you know when you get that single raised taste bud that's just like really niggling and annoying? Well, he had that all over the front of his tongue and so did Tiana. Um, so, yeah, that was really crap. You did need that? Good, Angela. <makes noise> Kisses from Matilda. <makes noise> now, calm down. I know Angela is there for you. Under the sunset, uh, hugs and kisses, Amani. Thank you very much. Yeah, but you know what? You know, they all do it. I said, as soon as I saw the picture of Amani, who had fallen over, hit his lip. Um, I don't know if I've actually got it on there. Um, I was just like, they all do it, don't they? I said um, I said to Amy, oh, well, just like, just like mummy. I don't know if I showed anyone else. 
did I? I don't think I did actually, so I can't show you. Um, but why I say just like mummy is because when Amy was about, I think she was about 18 months old, she fell over and two through the lip, you know, big, big, um, bleh, like that. But she also knocked her tooth back up into her gum. So um, eventually it came down, even though the dentist at the time said she'd knocked it out. Um, but, um, but yeah, that was a little bit frustrating. So she's just like, he's just like his mummy. <laughs> Angela said hi to Deb and Elaine. Under the sun said hi, mama, mama. Uh, thank you so much, Angela, for sharing my Aussie Reborn Supplies website. Um, I've got stuff to talk about there too. Hi, Kylie. How are you going? Mama says hi to Under the Sun. Under the Sun said Annette and moving in two weeks. So we'll give you my new update home address on Facebook Messenger. That's great. I'm so excited for you. Angela gives you kisses, Matilda. That's so cute. Uh, Deb said, I was excited when I sold it. It's a great feeling, isn't it? It really is. It sort of gives you all that confidence and energy that you really hope to get. Um, it's mainly that someone loves your work and um, and that, you know, you just feel great anyway. Uh, Angela said, well done, Deb. Under the sun said, congratulations, Deb. M Mari Jo, Mar now I do this every week, don't I? Mari Jo, um, hopefully I've said it right again said um hi how have you been i'm getting better thank you very much monica says benji says hi hi benji say hi hope you're doing good benji a life with sharon says hi annette and everyone how are you going sharon i hope you're doing good kylie says she's good thank you under the sun said thank you annette that's you're welcome and she also said hi to sharon vicky's here hi vicky hope you're doing well and <laughs> mari do give me a thumbs up so as some of you may know, Aussie Reborn Supplies at the moment is having a bit of a month of sales and giveaways and fun things. Um, this is all because in September this month, um, Aussie Reborn Supplies was supposed to attend the Ipswich Doll Show. And unfortunately, as everyone's going through due to COVID, uh, it was cancelled again, second time this year. Um, and I felt so sad. I feel so sad for everyone who's actually missing the whole event and who literally um, rely on it. So that would have been on the 27th of September. So we've decided here at Aussie Reborn Supplies to make September a real great sales sort of fun month um, for anyone having um, who's missed the doll show or anyone who's missing doll shows anyway. So we started on the 1st of September. That day we sort of announced that September is going to be a big month and stick with us every day. And we also said to anyone who was selling their babies to put them on that post. And um, if someone wanted to, was in the market to buy a baby, just like at a doll show, you could look at the babies that are pictured there and um, maybe purchase your own one. Uh, Debbie did sell her baby um, that she posted on that post, which could be likely that was sold um, from viewing someone viewing on that post. We're not really sure, um, but it's really exciting anyway. Um, so if anyone's in the market for buying a new reborn baby, you could go and look on that post on the 1st of September at babies that people have available for sale. So that was day one. Um, I'm already forgetting um, all the days. I think yeah, day two was we were talking about um, if you go onto my website that Angela shared before and you click under the category hot deals, you will see some things that are on sale this month and they will be on sale for the whole month. So, so far we've started, uh, there's a kit on there, uh, April, it's a, it's a toddler sort of kit, it's a skinny toddler, um, <laughs> but she's on sale. Um, my breather boxes and my heartbeat um, things are for sale. Um, and then last night, my which was the 3rd of September, uh, was the deal. Anyone spends on my website over $25 gets a free car sticker, which says a reborn baby on board. So every day I'm going to try to come up with something new. It's a little bit difficult, uh, but there'll be uh, freebies. There'll be giveaways. 
uh, there'll be, you know, sale discounts and there'll be new products coming. So it's going to be a month of excitement, I say. And the, one of the biggest excitement things is on the 20th of September when we're releasing our hair dry paints, uh, which are slowly coming together, but we're on the, what, the 4th of September today and they have to be released on the 20th. So just let me, let me tell you that Annette's got a lot of work to do. Phew. But there we go. So if anyone would like to come to Aussie Ribbon Supplies and help me for the month, that would be great. <laughs> um, so it is going to be a full on month. <coughs> Sorry if I missed anyone. So I'm going back to see what everyone's saying. Um, Under the Sun says hi to Vicky. Angela says hi to Sharon. Uh, Monica said Benji was just reading. He loves reading. He loves his book so much, just like mummy. Uh, Sharon says hi everyone so good to be here we're always glad to see you Sharon she's a big part of our YouTube family isn't she we love her uh, Angela says hi to Vicky under the sun says hi Angela wave and morning and, and evening for me um, Angela says hi under the sun can everyone send Angela lots of big hugs and kisses lots of love hearts would be lovely unfortunately I know you probably don't care you probably care or don't care if I say it but unfortunately her husband's son passed away um a couple of weeks ago now and um he had to her husband had to go out of town to attend the funeral and get everything under control and he comes back to where we are our state today uh, but then he has to quarantine for two weeks before he can go home so Angela has been without well will be without her husband for a whole month uh, she'll be at, at home alone with her puppy Molly um, and I know that um, she is struggling with that so mm, Angela I love you so much you can call me every day of the week and talk for thousands of hours um, and like I said I know Angela everyone is a very private person um, but I'm not giving away any information but I just want everyone to send her a love heart or kiss or something just all to know that she's in our thoughts and always will be because she's so cool what is the neighbor doing outside i'm a sticky bit no no <laughs> um deb said i put a deposit on gabriella by reverse chic this one oh congratulations that is excellent sharon says i wonder why they can't allow shows with people wearing masks and maintaining six feet apart i know i get what you're saying there sharon but you know what i don't know about you but it seems when you get to events that generally people don't do that they sort of just don't and um you also have so many people who then just won't come because they're scared they're going to get it so we had a few cases in our area um so I think that's why they ended up stopping the doll show just because they knew that those few cases would have really turned people off from coming so I guess they're going to lose money if they were to proceed so it's sad though isn't it it is really really sad under the sun said, do you know that I thought today was Wednesday? LOL. I'm a day behind. I had no idea this. You know what? Every week this happens to me. Um, it comes to Thursday. I'm busy all week and I go, oh my God, it's Thursday and tomorrow's live stream day. And I always, I can't believe it. It just comes up so quickly. You can look that way. It comes up so quickly every week and <clears throat> it blows my mind how how the week is so short but so so long and involved it's it's un unbelievable yes the weekend is coming near um angela said deb i looked at her this morning as well <clears throat> dawn said um hi annette hope you and your family are okay we are doing okay thank you very much much better. I wanted to also put that out there too. Thank you everyone for your patience last Friday when I couldn't come to the live stream. I tell you guys I would come like hail, rain, shine, death, anything. Um, but Amy last week had a vomiting bug, um, actually both ends. And um, before that, Amani had the vomiting bug. So she was really struggling on Friday morning, extremely struggling Um and there was just no way I could make it to see you guys. I had to get to both of them. And even if I would have come on live stream to you guys, it wouldn't have been really good with Amani not being well. And she may have been in the background not being well as well. So I thought oh, I'd best just, you know, 
say no this week, which was difficult for both of us. Uh, we had a hard time. We really need to be with you guys. Uh, thank you so much again, Angela, for sharing my website. Good morning to everyone, says Nicole. How are you? <gasps> Carrie, how are you going, Carrie? Hope you're going well. <clears throat> We're going well here too. Uh, Deb says hi to Kerry. Angela says hi to Nicole. And Angela says, I'm coming. Oh, you're coming? Yes, definitely. Uh, Kerry says hi to Deb. And Angela says hi to Kerry. Elaine said, if any want baby paint by Annette, I got one for sale. Just look at Annette's post. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, that post um, on my... Aussie Reborn Supplies. Elaine is selling a baby that I made for her a few years back now. Um, <clears throat> so it would be available to see then. There. Um, Under the Sun says hi to Nicole. Elaine says hi to Kerry. Kerry says hi, Ange. Kerry says hi, Elaine. Monica says, yes, we do love books. Gee, I'm far behind, aren't I? <laughs> Under the Sun says big hugs to Angela. Monica says Benji just messaged Matilda a photo on Instagram. Oh, cool. I haven't got Instagram on my tablet, so I can't look there. Charman says, hi, Annette, Matilda, and everyone. Hi, Charman. Hope you're doing well. Under the Sun says, hi to Monica. Sharon says, so sorry, Angela, sending you a big hug. Nicole said, hi, Angela, and Under the Sun. Monica says, Benji says, hi, Auntie, Under the Sun. Uh, love hearts from Nicole, obviously, to Angela. Mama said, so sorry, Angela. Prayers to you. Angela said, thanks, guys. You're very welcome. Under the sun said, Kieran and Layla wave at Benji. <coughs> and auntie, <coughs> under the sun said, um, waves at Benji. Yeah. Dawn says, lots of love to Angela. Uh, Monica says, and Annette is a day ahead. Yes, I am a day ahead. Whew. Sharon says, it's probably all about lawsuits, businesses, and afraid of getting sued. Yes, exactly. That is it as well very much so colleen hi she says hi Annette and everyone miss you all we miss you too colleen we'll see you next thursday so, though so that's really good sharon says florida is not strict with masks as much anymore we have a great governor oh, that's good we don't have to wear masks here at all either but they do advise it like if you can't social distance so let's say if you're um having to travel on transport where you're close beside someone or something like that so I think that's a fair enough remark um, that you only have to do it when you can't social distance. Um, Sharon says uh, we have less cases now than ever. Thank God. That is really good news. Really, really good news. Uh, Kylie said that's it. Thumbs up. Kerry says hi to Colleen. Uh, Deb says where is Mateo now? Okay, Mateo is still with Jen. Um, she has him all well, all of his things are packed up, ready to go. Uh, there was just an issue she had uh, where she couldn't get him to the post office. She said, please, 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 I'm not holding him hostage. It was so lovely. I was like, oh, I'd never think that of her. Um, but, yeah, she's going to get him off as soon as she can. Um, and that, at that time, I will update everyone and let you all know that he is on his way again. So it's literally moments away, but she just got held up, unfortunately. <clears throat> Angela says hi to Colleen. Mary Jo says hugs to Angela. Gigi said morning, evening, ladies. Morning. Thank you, Angela, for sharing my uh, website again. Under the Sun says, Sharon, are you lucky over here in South Carolina? They are in North Carolina. Holy cow is mandatory. Oh, you mean it's okay. That's okay, Kylie. Um, Under the Sun says hi, Gigi. Morning, evening to you. Angela says hi to Gigi. Under the sun, Sydney. Oh, you're talking. I don't know what you're talking about under the sun. <laughs> Gigi says, how is my darling Will? He is going better. He's getting better. Getting better, unfortunately. Well, not fortunately, I mean. Uh, today there's a pupil free day at school. So um, he's only been at school one day this week and he definitely needed the rest. So that's good. Deb says, I have another baby for sale. Oh, exciting. Colleen says hi to Kerry. Deb says hi, Gigi. And Shadow came to say hello. Oh, hi. Uh, Monica says we have to wear masks in public places. Fair enough. Under the sun said, wish I could add more reborn babies to my nursery, but my condo in my new room nursery is too small. 
can't fit that many reborn babies unless I put them up for adoption. Fair enough. You'll work it out. Elaine <clears throat> says hi to Gigi. Kylie says I'm trying to paint a brown kit, but I would like to paint him light. Do you know how to make him light, please? Depends on how brown he is, really. I'd have to see it. So you could send me pictures. Uh, Sharon says, I have to go make dinner. It's 6.38 p.m. here. I'd um, love to all have a great dinner. Thank you so much for joining us. Gigi says hi to Devon Lane. Amari Joe says, uh, bye, Sharon. Sorry, my throat is getting really hard to talk. <clears throat> Monica said, Benji says, Kieran is waiting for Mateo. Yes, I know. I know he is. I know all of the above. Thank you so much for reminding me. <laughs> Natasha, hi, how are you? And um, Gigi says hi to Angela. Angela says I'm getting good at sharing your website. Yeah, you so are. Colleen says hi. Hello, Angela. You're getting heavy on that side, side Matilda. I'm going to put you here. Elaine said uh, I sent you a Marlin in new outfit on Facebook. Okay, I'm just going to sit you down there for a moment and I'll have a look. <clears throat> Mara Jo says, in Michi Michigan, uh, we have to be six feet uh, and wear a mask. They started school and kids have to do the same. Wow. It's very scary. It'd be so good when it's all over. We're all going to be so happy then. Be parties in the streets. Oh, beautiful. This is uh, Elaine's baby wearing a Pokemon outfit. How cute. That is just so, so adorable. I've been trying to get a Pokemon outfit for a little while now, um, but I can never find the material. So that stinks a little bit. But anyway, these things happen, doesn't it? Um, blah, 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 blah. Under the sun said, Kieran is still getting ready for Mateo. That's good. Yes, there's still plenty of time. You need to settle down anyway before that happens. Um, and there's, sure, sorry, Matilda. Unfortunately, you kind of need to stop asking me. I don't mean to sound funny, but um, it's frustrating for me. I, I'm, only, I'm doing the best I can and I can't, I can't make things happen. Um, but as soon as he leaves Jen, he goes to Andrea. And then after Andrea, he goes to Jeannie. And then after Jeannie, he goes to Maria Scott. And then after Maria Scott, he goes to Christy Calder, Calder, Calder House. So, and then Danette after that. So there's still a few stops. So kind of if you wouldn't mind to stop asking me about that. I don't mean to sound rude, but he's got like another, what is that? One, two, three, four stops before he gets there. And I just don't know what's going to happen along that process. So I'm not going to skip and jump everyone. Um, through during those people some may say that um, they are unable to have him anymore and that's okay but it's just such a long time until I get to Danette so I kind of don't even want to talk about that at the moment and she's about to move into a condo and get set up and you know she's not even ready for him yet anyway so if we could just go with the people we've got to go through and if we could just get him on his way again that would be my first priority unfortunately it's just a little bit frustrating when I always have to hear it. That's all. <clears throat> Charman said, the mail must be really slow. It's been a month since I sent your birthday gift. I might need to check on it. Maybe you need to check on it. But, yes, it is really slow. I wouldn't even worry. It's so frustrating. Like, even in my hometown, for some things can take two to four weeks. And I've got people every day. And this is why I get frustrated with that kind of talk because – I get people every day, messages every day of people saying, where's my parcel? What's going on? And it's like, I have no control over the mail. I have control over my orders and things like that. And that's why I get them off straight away. But other than that, I wish people would leave me alone. I really do. <laughs> <clears throat> Under the sun says, beautiful. A Camille light. Sorry if I haven't said that right. It says, hi, how are you? Oh, you have a Pokemon outfit here for, for me, Deb. That's amazing. I love you so much. Wow, that is so cool. Uh, Monica, no. Under the, I don't know what made you think that. 
but, but under the sun is a way away. That's why I kept wondering why you were asking all the time. She's got a way to go. <clears throat> and that's main, and the time frame is so long also because he's been stuck at Jen's for months now. Like it feels like four or five months he's been stuck there. Well, not stuck. He's enjoyed his journey there anyway. Um, yeah, he got to, um, he, I think he got to Jen like in February. It's been forever. So there's been that big pause during that time, uh, which was, you know, trying for us all, but it's still trying. Um, Under the Sun said, yes, please, whoever is doing that, please stop. I have message on Facebook Messenger when Mateo is cooking. Good Lord, let, let it rest, please. Oh, hang on. Didn't quite get that, but anyway. Um. <clears throat> Gigi said, I'm making a PNG, a New Guinea baby. Oh, that is brown. That sounds wonderful. I can't wait to see that. Raggedy girl, hello, says, good afternoon, Annette. So glad this is finally on. Hello, everyone watching. Hi, how are you? Monica said, we are not the ones who brought up Mateo. Hmm. I'm kind of lost. I'm going back to bed. Uh, Under the Sun said, no, Monica, not yet. It's still... Too early, hun, but he will come eventually, God willing. We just need to wait. Yeah, we all need to be patient. He definitely will arrive. And the main thing that is exciting is that he's almost back on his journey. That is the main thing, and it's amazing. But, and let me just say, over the journey of his new, you know, going to his foster mums, there is going to be some people that won't be able to do it anymore, um, you, you know, due to certain reasons. And if you remember, we did have one of his foster mums who passed away. Um, so there's another one he won't be able to go to, you know, bless her heart. Um, but, yeah, over time, you know, people, things, situations change. So we just have to, every person that comes up, I'm asking them and seeing, you know, if they're still on board. And if they are, you know, it's full steam ahead. So Andrea's next and she is really, really excited and cannot wait. Uh, Dawn said, I got my eyebrow kit. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm so glad you got it. Uh, Raggedy said, I love the sweet face on your baby. Isn't she cute? She is really cute. She's just very peaceful at the moment. She smells really nice today. I came in um, this morning and got her out of her cot and I just picked her up and gave her a cuddle. And I was like, oh my God, I could sit here forever. It's like a relaxation smell. It's like home. You know what I mean? Charmin said, I think the mail is slow everywhere. It really is slow everywhere. and um, But unfortunately, it does affect a lot of people's needs. You know, like, I mean, eBay doesn't help. eBay says, oh, your parcel's going to arrive at this date. But it's a crock. You know, it's it, this date before COVID time, you know. Things are slower lately. lately. And then you'll have people that say, I want to make a baby. I bought those eyes because I'm ready to make a baby. And it's like, well, mm. I can't do anything else. I send you your eyes. So. But anyway, it happens. It really does. Gigi said, painted with Aussie Reborn paints, of course. Best paints. Oh, I love you, Gigi. That's so, so sweet. <laughs> Angela said, yes, they are, Gigi. Mm, thank you, guys. Terry says, hi, Annette. Hope you're feeling better. I am feeling better. I'm still chesty. Uh, I had a chest infection. Um, I'm still like that. But compared to what I felt like, I feel like a bright, bubbly, bubblegum, butternut pumpkin. How does that sound? That's a bit crazy. But, um, yeah, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, I am. Thank you again, Angela, for sharing my website. I appreciate it so much. Monica said, Deb's uh, reborn. First, where is Mateo? Oh, yeah, no, I know she asked where Mateo is, and that's okay. I'm quite happy to tell people where Mateo is and what journey he's on. Um, it's just the, you know, constant um, stuff that bothers me. But um, anyone could ask me any week and I'll tell them, but, yeah, because I want to tell them the journey, of course. I'm not, I'm not putting any names on it anyway. I'm not sort of saying, don't do that, and don't do that, and you don't do that. I'm just saying if we could settle it down, it would be really a bit nice. 
<clears throat> Under the Sunset, indeed, Charmin. Uh, uh, Jilts. I just, maybe I just got Baby Yoda pass package uh, from a friend of mine. Uh, made it look, made it took a month to get to me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Deb said, even couriers, please, taking days to get here. My cuddle baby was sent on the 1st of September. Yeah. And, you know, it's terrible. I had something that left here uh, on the 1st of September and was supposed, it's supposed to go to the other side of Brisbane. Um, and it's still not there. And it's just like, it's crazy. Like you'd think day after, right? No. Charmin said, I'm going to be working on a reborn with two teeth. So cute. Oh, I love the reborns with teeth so much. They are so sweet, aren't they? Okay. Monica, I hope I didn't offend you, but I'm just trying to put it out there. I mean, messages are messages and they get a little bit back to front sometimes, but um, you know, it's just, I'm just trying to put it out there to make everyone realize where I'm coming from and, you know, how it sounds all the time and, you know, let you know where I'm at. I'm doing the best I can. Um, Under the Sun said, Monica, you did message me a few times when Mateo was coming while I was on chemotherapy treatment. Sometimes things take time and I was very ill at that time, hon. That's okay. Um, Kylie said, I am making one like your baby boy in the cot. Like my baby boy in the cot. Which one was that, B? Which one is that? Is that like a money? <laughs> Pat says, hi, Annette. How are you? Hope you're feeling better than last week. Sorry, I'm like, yes, I am feeling better than last week. Thank you so much for asking. Nicole said, I sent one of my reborns to my great aunt two weeks ago and she absolutely loves to carry around. Isn't that beautiful? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Hey, it really is. Um, Mary Jo says, is this your shop, Aussie Reborn Supplies, Doll Store, Brussels? That's me. That's me. <laughs> Monica said, I'm going to return to my book booktubers. I love my booktube community. Makes me happy. I come here and... I mean, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cause you anxiety, Monica, and I'm sorry that you feel that your booktubers are better than your reborn tumors. But you've got to re realize back to front, you know, I'm getting anxiety from you as well when you're asking me constantly and sort of act, it kind of feels like you're accusing me of not getting onto Mateo. And, you know, you've helped me so much. You pushed me so much that I was able to get Jen onto the whole postage post product um, process and I thank you so much about that but you've got to realize it goes it's a two-way street you know you can't just say I'm giving you anxiety um, you know when things are coming back at me you've got to re recognize that and I've got to I've got to bring it to I've got to say it because I'm feeling crap about it every day and yeah it's been made that happen that way so I'm sorry I'm getting a bit frustrated here um, Charma said, guess where I, I am, everyone? I'm at Croker and chatting with you guys. Oh, Kr is that Kruger? I don't know where that is, but it sounds exciting. I wish I was there right now. Really wish I was there. Sonia says, good morning, Annette. How are you? I'm okay. Starting to go down. Um, Monica says, I'm sorry, under the sun said, Monica, let it let it go, breathe, relax. We still love you. Absolutely, 100% we still love her, don't we? She's one of our favourite people. Um, Mari Jo says, I know shipping high to USA, but love cat kit. Um, shipping isn't too bad. Um, so if you wanted to go through the whole fun process of doing a checkout, um, you can see how much the postage comes up. But, but it, should, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, for me to send uh, a cat kit to America, I think it's about $25 Australian, which would be about $21, 22 um, US, and that's with tracking. So it's not too bad. It's it's when you get a lot of heavy weight and things like that. But, um, yeah, see how you go. The website might even come up just as, like, $16 or something for postage because sometimes it does it wrong, and then I, then I just pay the rest. So, um. Yeah, if you feel like doing it, go through the process of checkout and just see how much it comes at. And if you feel like it's too expensive, you know, send me maybe a screenshot and um, maybe I can tweak a few things to make it better for you. You never know. Sometimes it works well. 
uh Gigi said I'm trying to send an eastern to Queensland I could drive there but not now <laughs> yeah fair enough the best way to send an eastern I would say is in Australia Post uh probably extra large satchel Australia Post haven't been too bad you know they have been a little bit slow but they have you know I haven't seen of many things getting lost Couriers, though, I've noticed have been a little bit slower than they should be and some things getting really held up where it feels like they're lost. Um, yeah, I feel Australia Post has been pretty good lately. Uh, Kylie said, the one you put your breathing machine in, Noah. I thought you meant Noah and I was going to say Noah, but I didn't. You're making a Noah? That is so exciting. I don't give anyone anxiety. Well, I think I just did give Monica anxiety by um, what she said, Angela. I'm not sure. Mama said, LOL, oh, honey pot. Take a deep breath. Annette is all good. I love you. That's so sweet. Um, Deb says, hi, Annette and Tilly. Hi, Deb. How are you, Deborah? Hope you're doing really well. Kitten says, I have Matilda's dummy finished, packed and ready to send. We'll send it on its way soon. I know she will love it. All her favourite colours. Oh, my God. Did you hear that, what Army Kitten's doing for you? That is so sweet. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Under the sunset, Annette, we love you, and we don't want you to feel stress out. It's all good. We love you a whole bunch. I know you guys love me a whole bunch, and I love you guys. And like I said, last week not being here was really hard for, for me and Matilda. And um, we couldn't wait for today, so couldn't wait. It's just like being, you know, around a table at Christmas with your family. Charman said, Kruger is a grocery store here in the States. My husband went in to get something. Oh, cool. I love it when I do that type of thing and you sit in the car or, you know, just do your own thing while your hubby does it, especially when you're on live stream. There we go. There is Astral. How are you going? How's little Mr. Mateo going? I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going okay there with you, Jen. I love you. Love you so much. We love you, don't we? We love her. Gigi says, Annette, my stuff comes when it comes. And I understand we all need patience in 2020. Don't we just? We so do. I wish everyone would get that. I really do. Um, it's it's trying. It's trying for everyone. It's trying for, um, you know, suppliers, sellers, consumers, so it's just trying for everyone. But one thing I believe Aussie Reborn Supplies is really good at is no matter what the situation, I look after my customers. So my customer that ordered something on my, you know, I sent it on Monday and she's the other side of Brisbane. And if she doesn't get it today, I'm telling you what she'll get, I will resend it out to her on Monday because that's what we do here. And if she ended up getting the parcel later, she's always welcome to then return it to sender. So we just try to look after everyone and, and know everyone's situations um, at, at any type of, you know, issue, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Under the sun says, hi, Astral. Deborah says, I'm doing great. That's really, really good. Kylie said, yes, I'm trying to make him little. Oh, that's so beautiful. I can't wait to see it. Astral said, Teo will be leaving for sure Tuesday. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, we hope that happens, but of course, like I've said to you before, Jen, I trust you, like, literally with my son's life. Um, and if things change, you know, like, you just can't, we can't help it. Like, if there was a, a weather issue or a sickness issue, no one, no one can help things like that that happen. And he will get on his way when he gets on his way. That's all that matters to us. Uh, Deborah says, oh, I love Tilly's dress. Don't you just? It's got matching shoes and a matching little pantaloons under there and her matching headband. This was made uh, by beautiful Kerry Pallia um, in Perth. She's a beautiful friend of mine. She made this for Matilda ages ago and it's one of her most special outfits. So beautiful. It's always lovely when someone takes that time, you know, to to make something out of from their heart it's so lovely but it does look really nice on her it's got this little glittery speckle in it see that it's so pretty really really pretty charman said oh it's really hot here 95 degrees really 
it's cool here at the moment. Like my shoulders are a little bit cool. Mama said, Charman Kroger is my store. Oh, that's cool. Thank you again, Angela. She's getting such a bomb at sharing my website. I appreciate that. And Charman said, Kroger is my, my store as well. Or is it Kroger? So Gigi said, sweetie, you are one of the best suppliers. Don't stress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you. Liz is here. Hi, Liz. How are you doing? I hope everything's going well for you. Mama says we are trying to do all we can to not use warmer. Oh, okay. That sounds exciting. Are we sort of like boycotting that? <laughs> Astral said mum is home from her gallbladder surgery. Oh, my God. That's the best news. That's the best news. I hope she's doing really well. Please send my love to her and tell her I hope her recovery is going really well. Uh, Mary Joyce is awesome. Under the sun said, Astral, I'm happy that your mum is feeling better. Isn't it great news? Gigi said, there goes Traveller's goo goo eyes again. He loves her new outfit. Oh, my God. Traveller. I tell you what. I tell you what, Gigi, that day when we all get back together, crossing fingers sooner than later, um, I don't know if we're going to be able to keep Matilda and Traveller away from each other. Hey, you miss him too, don't you? We all miss each other so much. We all miss each other so much. Um, Mary Jo says, prayers for healing astral. Um, I've had that done. Uh, know how it feels. Hug her. Oh, that is beautiful. Prayers, definitely prayers for her. Liz said, I'm doing good. Things are starting to turn around. That's really good news too. I'm so glad to hear about that. Oh, my goodness. Little, little girl. Hey. How are you going? You doing good? Um, oh, Deb says, I found the other day that people, um, that people that I was scammed from on Instagram still live at an address that I sent baby to. Oh, really? What are you going to do? Are you going to do anything about it? Should try to in some way. It's, it's hard though, isn't it? Because you're sort of powerless, you know? Gigi said we won't be able to if he has any say. He's in love. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I will ha definitely have to bring the double pram and have those who left. What do you think about that? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Under the sun said, wow, Debs. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Chalmers said, let, just let go and let God take care of the stress away. For sure. Yes, I like that. And Deb says, and they are saying, I... Do not send anything. That's a shame, isn't it? You had the tracking details and the details of arrival and stuff. People are just, some people are just so hurtful, aren't they? It really is hurtful. Um, Tiana's much better this week. Um, as you know, but a lot of you know, she had a COVID test on the weekend. Um, because of work and stuff, she had to get the COVID test before she could work again. And that come up negative, of course, and um, and she just had the burnt tongue this week, so that was been a little bit trying. But she's feeling better. Um, Will's doing better as well. His like cold's gone, but now he's burnt his tongue this week too, so he's been really struggling with that. Now we've had him to the dentist this week, and you know to the doctors. He's been crazy. Under the sun said, hi, Charmin, how are you? Astral said, Alex is, go is going uh, to really miss her bestie, Mateo. They've been inseparable for months. I know. That is the sad thing. That is the saddest thing um, when I hear about, you know, the, the ones left behind, the reborns left behind that, that spent so much time with either Matilda or Mateo and you think, oh, my God, that is so sad. But I tell you what, it's a lifelong, you know, um, bond that they have. Deb said 300 US down the drain. It's, it's a lot of money, isn't it? But you know what? At the end of the day, Deb, they have to live with that conscience of knowing that they've done that. Honestly, you know, I know it's hard for you and it's a big loss. It's a huge loss. But at the end of the day, you know, they have to spend every day knowing that they're not a very nice person. 
And that can't be nice, can it? Uh, Mama said, hey, here's one for you, Annette. Have you heard that commercial from years ago, Cal Calgoon, Take Me Away? No, I can't think. I can't say I have. It sounds familiar, but I can't pinpoint it, if you know what I mean. Charman said, I'm blessed, reborn. How are you? Mm. Under the sunset, I'm good, Charman. Gigi said, you have had a crazy week. Hope all are on the mend. Well, slowly. Uh, Amy and um, Amani are really good this week. Um, they've been doing okay. Tiana and Will are definitely on the mend. Me and Michael are definitely on the mend. So, yeah, we, we really honestly can't complain. You know, we're not 100%, but, you know, Things are going okay. I'm going out with my mum after the live stream. I'm taking my mum to visit her mum at the cemetery, which is always a really nice day out, really um, spiritually comforting, like very nice. It's, all, it's nice being with my grandmother, that type of thing. So, you know, that's always good that we can do that. Under the sun said, so sorry, Debs. Eloisa says, hi, hi, how are you? Uh, Gigi said, karma will get them. Or I can adjust my witch's hat. And Hex said, yes, I love that hat you've been wearing this week on the pictures. It is awesome. <coughs> Jeb says it was two years ago. Wow. Unreal. Yeah, unfortunately, you do have to let that one go from so long ago. But yeah, karma will get them. Um... Gigi says hexes work long term for sure. Mamma said, LOL, okay, it's bubble bath. Oh, bubble bath will be really nice. Charman said, I pray for us all every night. Absolutely, absolutely. It's the only way to be, isn't it? For sure. Mwah. The one thing that is exciting though is, you know, for the last three weeks, it's been difficult. I mean, it's still difficult to talk. But I get through it. But I haven't been able to start my toddler tutorial. Main reason because I had this chest infection and would cough so much and it was just really hard. But I'm starting it this weekend. I'm so excited. I literally am so excited. I wish right, I kind of wish right now I could just pack up my stuff and start, start it now, but I can't. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to start that. Um, things have been going really good with Aussie Reborn Supplies. I've just been just keeping on top of everything it's i think everything's starting to fall into place which is awesome under the sun said me too charman Gigi said okay oh thank you charman kylie says i have to go to meet mum see you next week bye have a great day have a great day i'm meeting my mum today too so we'll both be spending time with our mums as you guys know well i don't know is it the same for you guys it's father's day in australia on sunday is it Father's Day everywhere else on Sunday? I think it is. I think it's Mother's Day. So it's a different one. But anyway, because of that, we are reading the story today. Daddy, you're awesome. I was so excited that there was we can sort of theme it out a little bit this week <coughs> because we haven't had story time for weeks and it's been driving me insane. Um, under the sun says, I was just going to ask when your tutorial was going to start. And I'm so excited. I can't wait. I know I can't wait to, I'm very, very excited. And I've actually been so sad that I haven't been able to start it. Lisa's here. Hi, Lisa. Say hi, Auntie Lisa. Hope you're doing good today. Looking forward to your results. I was supposed to get a COVID test guys, but I'm not getting it. I'm kind of naughty, but I can't see what the use of it is when I've just found out I had a chest infection and my daughter has just had the COVID test and it's come back negative. So I'm just not doing it. Um, Under the Sun said, bye, Kylie. Have a great weekend. See you next Thursday, Friday. Under the Sun says, hi to Lisa. Angela said, oh, John will be in isolation. We'll have to change Father's Day. Yes, I know. I thought about that. That was the first thing I thought when I recognised it was Father's Day, I thought, oh, my God, John's going to be stuck in a hotel. Pat said, no, not here. It was in June. Oh, okay. Okay. Angela says, hi to Lisa. 
Under the Sunset. Oh, wow, Angela. Astral said, keep an eye out for Teo's last few videos in the next few days. Oh, great. I definitely will. I can't wait for that. Love you too, Lisa. Love you too. And Lisa says, uh, hi to Angela and Under the Sun. And Under the Sun said, cool, Astral. Can't wait to see it. Isn't it exciting? Very exciting, isn't it? So, yeah, remember, like on Aussie Reborn Supplies, lots is happening this month. Um, and, you know, the big, 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 big one. And I should tell you guys, if you are wanting to buy something from Aussie Reborn Supplies, but you also wanted to buy the hair dry, the hair dry kit, hair painting, you know, that one. I'm sorry. Um, that's released on the 20th of September. So if you wanted to buy a few other things, you know, you're welcome to sort of, well, I would suggest wait till then and get everything at once. Um, the things that are going on sale on, on the website, most of the things that ever go on sale are because I have a few of them um, and I can afford to do so because of that. So don't think you'll miss your opportunity on getting them. For instance, with the breather boxes, I think I've got like 500 of them. So I'm not going to run out. Um, Lisa said, oh, no, she already said hi. Um, Angela said, love you, Lisa. Gigi said, hi, Lisa. Mama says, hi, Lisa. Angela's sharing the website again. And Lisa says, hi, Gigi. I love you, Ange. Miss you. Mwah. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, Mama says, Angela, you are too funny. <laughs> Isn't she just? She is so funny. And Mama said, going nuts with that website. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. I'm glad. But remember what I said. If you did, she's doing really well with the website. But if you are after a few things and you definitely wanted the hair dry painting kit, which comes out on the 20th of September, my suggestion is wait until those paints come out and just get your whole order together. Gigi said, I am really missing our show time. Miss you all and darling Patricia. I know, right? I'm definitely missing that as well. It's hard. Dawn says, I'm going to have to go. It's 12.10. I'm so tired. See you all next week. Bye, Dawn. Hope you're doing well. I hope you have a great week. Mamma says, bye, Dawn, sweet dreams. Okay, now, guys, because I'm sort of a bit, you know, throaty still and it's still difficult to talk a lot, I'm going to start story time early this week, aren't we? Because we can't wait to read the story about why daddies are so awesome. Because Matilda's daddy at the moment is a nutcase. And I'm going to yell at him if he keeps being a nutcase. So I don't think he's very awesome at the moment. Mummies are awesome. <laughs> totally awesome. So anyway, get your babies, get your grandchildren, get your children, get yourself ready for story right now. We're going to do that in a couple of minutes. Just making sure everyone's ready to go. Hey, definitely. Um. Pat says, my great-granddaughter goes back to school on Monday, first day back for six months due to COVID. Wow, it's long-winded, isn't it? I hope everything goes well for her. Gigi says, bye to Dawn. Oh, morning again. Astral says, Monday is Labor Day holiday. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, Under the Sun said, bye, Dawn. Have a great weekend. Kitten said, I just thought of a question I meant to ask. Last time my recent doll I just bought has a wig. How can I make her hair softer or should I replace it? I would say replace it. Um, I mean, unless it's really dirty. If it's dirty, then giving the hair a wash will make it obviously smell nice and make it maybe softer. But generally, you can't change the synthetics of it anyway, generally. So you'll probably have to replace it, I would say, just from what you've said. Deb said Shadow is ready. Angela said he needs time out with John. Oh, my God, he does. My husband's driving me nuts. <laughs> um, Kitten says me and Nathaniel are waiting for story time. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, Matilda, it is time. You're really heavy today. What have you been eating? I think you put on a little bit of weight. Should I really say that? <laughs> okay, sit there. Oh, what are you doing? I know it's your head. Put your dress out, cover your legs. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm going to read the story. So this is the story, Daddy, You're Awesome. I bought two daddy stories 
even though daddies sometimes stink. <laughs> and I'm going to read the other one next week. So we're still going to hear the other one as well. Mateo is ready. Alex is ready. Good, great. Mm, two little cutie babies. Nicole said Winston is waiting. That is so good. Uh, Under the Sun said my 11-year-old niece start, start school this past Monday. She goes three days a week and on Tuesday and Thursday she does virtual video live Zoom classes online. Wow, that's exciting. What's different, isn't it? Different way of education, but if it works, it's so great. Under the Sun said Kieran and Layla are ready for story time. That's so cool. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to move the camera a little bit this way so I don't have to move too much. Okay. Daddy, you're awesome. I might want to say another word there. <laughs> Daddy, you're awesome. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? Uh, Gigi said, kitten, you need conditioner and boiling water and glad wrap. Cover doll to protect. Pour boiling water on the hair. Cover with conditioner. Wrap straight away and in glad wrap and leave for 12 hours and then wash. Wow, that sounds really exciting. Let me know, kitten, if you do do that and if it works for your baby, that is. So exciting. Okay. My daddy plays games. We kick, throw, and bounce. The ball zoom through the air. We all leap and pounce. Daddy, you're awesome to me. Daddy can build things with wood, nails, and saw. I help with directions. He loves what I draw. Daddy, you're awesome to me. Can you see that on screen, Matilda? Good. So cute. My daddy pushes the swing. Up, up, up. I'm so high. I can see over rooftops. One day, I might fly. <laughs> Daddy, you're awesome to me. <laughs> That's funny. My daddy's a giant, so tall and so strong. I want to be just like him. Why is it taking so long? Daddy, you're awesome to me. So new. My daddy knows all creatures that fly, creep and crawl. Ants, dragonflies and spiders are my favourite of all. Daddy, you're awesome to me. My daddy makes a tent, a campfire for tea. We look at the stars and count how many we see. Daddy, you're awesome to me. My daddy visits Pop. They invent things I like. There are tyre rockers on swings and a red racing bike. Daddy, you're awesome to me. Daddy tickles my toes, my tummy and my chin. We laugh like kookaburras. Just wait until I catch him. Daddy, you're awesome to me. That is so cute. <clears throat> my daddy tells stories of pirates and treasure. Then we make our, up our own high seas adventure. Daddy, you're awesome to me. My daddy sings rhymes. He kisses me on the head. We giggle and yawn. He ki helps me snuggle into bed. Well, I guess that would be my favourite picture, my favourite page.
Daddy, you're awesome to me. No, oh, it's so pretty. And that's the end of the story. So happy Father's Day to all the daddies out there. And I hope you've been good boys. But we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Father's Day with lots of special surprises. Um, Gigi said that's what we did in Dolls Hospital. Hair in preset and we'll bounce back. Oh, wow, that's cool. Kitten said, thank you, GJ, Gigi. I will try uh, because the hair is still pretty. Just it's so rough. Oh, well, that'll be great. Give it a go for sure. Um, what if hair is rooted? I think you can still do it. You just have to um, make sure you wrap the baby in the um, in the glad wrap to protect it and sort of normally lay its head back so it doesn't absorb too much. But it'll dry out anyway. Under the sunset, Gigi, thank you for that idea. Uh, as Peaches Berry has hair is dry. Thank you. Oh, cool. Oh, koalas weren't they cute, Astral? I love them. Gigi said, I'll travel. And I love that. Oh, good. Pat said, oh, I love that story, Annette. Thank you. Hope you carry on getting better and the family as well. Uh, take care. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Deb says it's raining there. Looks a bit overcast here too, but I don't think it'll rain. Under the sun said, love the stories. Love the stories time, Annette. Uh, thank you so much. Love you, Annette and Matilda. Happy Father's Day to you in Australia. Thank you so much. Charmer said, I love these stories. They are so soothing. Thank you, Annette. You're awesome. I love you too. Thank you so much for being here. So I'm going to get going now so I can get my mum and take her for a drive to see her mum. Hope everyone has had a great day today or um, tonight. <laughs> Have a great weekend, stay safe, and please look out for my tutorial next week for the toddler. I'm so excited. I literally am so excited. Um, Nicole said, Winston, love the story. Thank you so much. Hope you and your family continue to feel better. Thank you so much, Nicole. Under the sunset, have a great weekend, everyone. We'll be working on my condo this weekend. That's exciting. Gigi said, Mary Jo, I don't, don't know about Rooted, a we did week dolls. I did antique, but uh, as long as it was a serum polyester, it will work. Yeah, if I had ever done um, babies that had um, hair implanted, I would normally sort of um, bend them back like they were in like a hairdressing sink basin, so the head was bending back. And um, afterwards would do the same, let them dry very well, um, the best that you can. Elaine said, bye. I love you, hugs. Thank you so much. Bye, Terry. Mm. Deb says, bye. Love you and hugs. Love you too, Debs. Astral said, I saw Bindi is going to be a mummy. Yes, she is going to be a mummy. Apparently, she's been offered millions of dollars to document the whole pregnancy. So let's see if she actually takes up on that offer. I think she will because, um, you know, she's very social and loves to, you know, show the community about her life and how you know, their life in the zoo has been. So I think she will. So it'll be very exciting to see everything. Kitten says, have fun and a good day and we'll look out for it. Awesome. Sonia says, have a great weekend. Annette, bye. See you next week for sure. Angela said, <coughs> sorry, I have to go. John is ringing. Bye, Angela. I love you. Mary, Mary Jo said, I checked the doll again. It has ringlets, uh, but a couple need to be redone and stretched out. Teo says, bye, Mummy. Bye, Mateo. Bye, Alex. And bye, Astral. Gigi said, ringlets will bounce back. That's exciting. Terry says, bye, everyone. Chumman says, be blessed and stay safe, everyone. Love you guys. And thank you so much, Angela, for sharing my website one last time. I appreciate you all so much. Have a great weekend, guys, and a great week ahead. Um, you know, stay safe and be really good. Happy reborning. Love you all.